So abemocyclib is a CDK inhibitor that's a little bit different in its biology from palbocyclib and ribocyclib. Uh, it was initially tested in patients who were refractory to multiple endocrine therapy, so in later lines of therapy, as a single agent. It's given on a continuous dosing, not 21 days on and seven days off. And that actually showed a significant amount of activity, more than we would typically see with a biological therapy in this population. So it, it was approved for that indication, but it was also approved on the basis of the Monarch II study uh, in combination with fulvestran, so in the second line setting. Uh, as well. So those are the two areas in which it's approved. Excellent. Thank you. Could you give a brief comment on the Monarch 1 and Monarch 2 trial results and designs? So the Monarch 1 study was a single arm study that looked at patients who had received multiple lines of hormonal therapy and even cytotoxic therapy and it showed significant activity more than we typically see with other biological therapies in this space. Uh, so that led to the approval, or part of the approval, in the refractory setting for hormone receptor positive and HER2 negative breast cancer. The Monarch II study uh, was presented later, and that was in the second line uh, setting, fulvestrant plus or minus a bemocyclib, and that actually showed uh, very similar benefits that we've seen with CDK4-6 inhibitors, a doubling of progression-free survival. Excellent. And the last one, real quick, if you could just describe your thoughts on the patient selection and your personal experience with abemocyclib. So uh, abemocyclib is a drug that um, uh, we, we have used for uh, both refractory uh, disease and uh, we uh, uh, have a, a protocol in which uh, we're designing to use it in an expanded group of patients uh, that may actually have certain biological characteristics that imply that they will be uh, very sensitive to this drug. The one thing about abemocyclib is its toxicity profile is a little bit different. You have a little more in the way of GI toxicities, but a, a less in the way of hematologic uh, toxicities. It's given continuously, so there isn't a, a cyclical drop in the, in the neutrophil counts as well.